Hi, I'm David Bragger, and today we're going to learn Devil in the Straw Stack. This has always been one of my favorite solo fiddle tunes, although you can play it with other instruments. And uh, I just can't wait to show it to you. It's really been in the air a lot for me lately because through uh, Tiki Parlor Recordings, we just released the Kirk Sutphin set. And uh, of course, we had to call it Devil of the Straw Stack. So get your fiddles out in standard tuning, and we're going to have a look at this Tommy Gerald classic. So now I'm going to play Devil in the Straw stack much slower, and afterwards I'll break it down phrase by phrase with the bowing. Let's break this tune down. So let's look at the A section. What we have here are two phrases. Now phrase one begins with two pickup notes, which I'm going to right now individually saw stroke, an A and a B. So we have down, up, and then the phrase officially begins. Now what we're doing here. We're using a very powerful bow rhythm, something that Tommy Gerald used a lot, and it you know, goes by different names depending who you speak to. When I was learning fiddle from Tom Sauber, he called this the syncopated shuffle, and it, of course, stuck. So the syncopated shuffle, which is also referred to as Tommy's lick, uh, it sounds like this. It's a four-beat bow rhythm. And it's very similar to a shuffle, but it has a bit of rhythmic pep that a shuffle doesn't have. Not that it's better, it's just different. So down, up, up, down, up, down, up. One and two and three, four and. So I'm going to be playing a syncopated shuffle with these notes. So I have down, up, up, down, up, uh, up, down, up. So there is a string cross in there. Now, after that particular shuffle, I'm still in phrase one, I have another syncopated shuffle that goes like this. So let's take a look at it with bowing. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up. 
So when I put this together, I have pick up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Let's do that again. But this time I'm going to slur my pickup notes into the first phrase. A classic rhythmic device with the bow. And when the bow comes in early like that, with or without pickup notes, I refer to that as a push. And it's almost always a down stroke in my world. So if I say push, it's a down bow that is anticipating beat one. And again, some of these pushes have pickup notes inside of them. So we have push, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, like that. Let's do it again. Push, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Phrase two. This is a really interesting phrase. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing a little syncopated shuffle. So instead of the usual four beat syncopated shuffle, I'm cutting off the last beat. So the two shorts that we use to end the syncopated shuffle, we don't play them. Down, up, up, down, up. That would be a little syncopated shuffle. So let's plug the notes in. Down, up, up, down, up. Like that. Now why would this be happening? Because we're gonna come in early with the next one. We're gonna be pushing the next one. So we have down, up, up, down, up, push, up, up, down, up. So that was a pushed little syncopated shuffle to accommodate the pickup notes that are coming up that lead us into the uh, A section repeat. So let's look at phrase two again. Down, up, up, down, up, push, up, up, down, up. And now let's repeat our A section. Push, up. Up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, push, up, up, down, up. the A section three times, you can play it four times. I usually play it three times. And the B section does not have pickup notes. We don't begin it with a push. It starts on the beat. That means we have to fill out the end of the final A section. And that's exactly what I did. I went push, up, up, down, up, up. And instead of playing two shorts at the end, I just added another up because it's a smoother sound. It doesn't sound like filler like the two shorts would sound. So. We now have three A sections, and don't forget, at the very end, up, add that extra up when going into a B section. Now, when Tommy played this tune, he really took advantage of that low string. And even though this is a real A modal tune, you would think high bass tuning, which is something Tommy Gerald went into a lot, you'd think that he would be cranking this up and droning the heck out of that low A. But no, he does something much, much cooler. He's droning that G. So. So that's something to think about once you get the tune down, is droning that low G. And if you're not used to droning, don't overthink it. Focus on your melody. Let the bow touch the drone string that you're attempting to sound. Um, more pressure doesn't help. Less pressure does. So keep that in mind as well. Now, when we end the final A section and we add the extra up at the end, we then go into the B. The B starts on the beat, and it starts with a bow rhythm that's really common. And I call it the traditional ending because it's the most common bow rhythm ending that I use in general. But it's something that pops up in the middle of phrases. It even pops up at the beginning of phrases of tunes. So we're gonna start with 
an ending lick. It's that thing right there. So on the beat, it's down, uh, up, like that. That's a three beat bow rhythm. Down, uh, up, and then push, up, uh, up. So what I'm doing here is I'm pushing what I call a Georgia syncopation. And what that is, is we have four short notes. The first is a down, the second is an up, and then the following two are a two note slur, on and up. So down, up, up. And there's, so there's that little, there's that little pulse in there. I'm not just going down, up, like that. That tends to have a jerky quality when you play a Georgia with a single down and then a three note slur. In fact, if you took that line of logic and applied it to the A section, you would have a very, very different sounding A section um, and not in a good way. That jerky thing that happens, that kind of consecutive playing of Georgias really lends itself to that jerky sound. I often refer to it as the Georgia jerk. That's not the Tommy sound. That is. So back to the B section. We're going to start the first phrase with a traditional ending. And then push a Georgia. So let's look at that again. Down, uh, up, push, up, uh, up. Now I could end that phrase with long, long, just two longs, but instead I'm going to swing them. And all that means is I'm stretching out the first and then shortening the second. So I have a long and a half down and a short up. I have a dotted down and a short up. So let's look at all of that. Down, uh, up, push, up, uh, up, down, up, like that. So that quick little up functions more as a bow reset than a uh, really important bold sound. Again, down, uh, up, push, up, uh, up, down, up. Now, this phrase, there's a lot of play. So we could strip it down to something as simple as like that. So four longs, down, up, down, up, and then a little syncopated shuffle. And this little syncopated shuffle is similar to the ending that we had in the A section, but not the same. I'm going to go through the C note, not the B note at the end. So down, up, up, down, up, and then up. So it's a little syncopated shuffle with that extra up at the end because I have to play another B section. So I have long, 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 down, up, up, down, up, up. But I don't want to finish this lesson up yet. It's not time to wrap it up. I want to talk about the beginning of phrase two here of the B section. So again, you can start it with four longs. You can continue playing four longs and maybe throw a slur in there. Like that as well, which sounds cool. All right. You can also do something that I picked up from uh, listening to Paul Brown play. I'm playing a shuffle, a straight shuffle, long, short, short, long, short, short. It's a notey one, so it ends up being slur, short, short, slur, short, short. And my fingers are bouncing. Like that. That's pretty cool, too. Down, up, down, up, uh, up, down, up, down, up, uh, up, down, up, up. So that's another approach. What else do we have? You could do that. Down, up, down, uh, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you do have a few melodic and bowing options for phrase two of the B section of this tune. So I'm going to put both phrases together. Down, uh, up, push, up, uh, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, uh, up, down, up, up, down, uh, up, push, uh, uh, up, down, up, down, up, down, uh, up, down, up, down, uh, up, down, up. And then I could do it again and again and again. Now, when I end, when I end the high part, we're calling it the B section. Sometimes I start with this section, so it's the A. One person's A section is another person's B section, right? That does apply to quite a few tunes out there. Now, with this one, what I want to do is not add the extra up when I play my final 
B section because I need the room for the pickup notes that lead us back into the A. So I'm going to go at the end of the first B section, at the end of the B repeat. And then that way I'm able to go push and lead back into the A section. So there you have it. That's a devil in the straw stack. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run through the entire tune and call out the bowing at the same time. Um, it's nice hearing the bow strokes called out while the tune's being played slow for a lot of people. And uh, I also know now after years of making videos like this that a lot of people will use the audio portion only. Um, and uh, this way they have the bowing. So the cut to the chase segment of this lesson. Here we go, Devil in the Straw Stack. Push, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, push, up, up, down, up, push, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, push, up, up, down, up. To the A section. So there you have it. Now, something I'd like to add here is the syncopated shuffle. If it's something that's new to you, um, there's a good chance you're obsessed with learning how to uh, play it because it really does add a lot of excitement in, into fiddling. And it's one of those bow rhythms that has really been um, played a lot by a lot of people a lot of the time. Uh, dare I say, maybe it's even getting overdone at times. You know, it, it's that infectious. It's the, it's the, uh, the crack cocaine bow rhythm of, uh, of fiddling for many people. Not everybody, but for many. So it's good to take that syncopated shuffle. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up. And practice it. pushing a little syncopated shuffle so I can push another little syncopated shuffle like this. Push, up, up, down, up, down, up. That would be a pushed syncopated shuffle, but I want to clip off the last beat so I can loop this. Push, up, up, down, up. Push, down, up, up, down, up. Push, up, up, down, up. Like that. And eventually get it to the point. And then when you are quite adept at playing that, you come back to the tune. And then you come back to the tune again and get some of that drone in there. But don't, uh, don't use more pressure. Use less, like I said earlier. Thanks for coming and uh, see you down the road.